Hello friends, today I am going to discuss what is sleep apnea. What is sleep apnea? Sleep apnea is a serious sleep disorder. It occurs when a person's breathing is interrupted during sleep. People with untreated sleep apnea stops breathing repeatedly during their sleep, sometimes hundreds of times. This means the brain and the rest of the body may not get enough oxygen. Now, what are the types of sleep apnea? There are mainly two types of sleep apnea. First one is obstructive sleep OSA. The more common type of the two forms of apnea. It is caused by blockage of the airway usually when the soft tissue in the back of the throat collapses during sleep. Central sleep apnea, the second type. Unlike obstructive sleep apnea, airways is not blocked but their brain fails to signal the muscles to breathe due to instability in the respiratory control center. Risk factors Sleep apnea can affect anyone at any age, even children. Risk factors for sleep apnea include being male, being overweight, being over age 40, having large neck size that is 17 inches or greater in men and 16 inches or greater in women, having large tonsils, a large tongue or a small jawbone, having a family history of apnea, nasal obstruction due to deviated symptoms, allergies or sinus problems. What are the effects of sleep apnea? If left untreated, sleep apnea can increase the risk of health problems including high blood pressure, stroke, heart failure, irregular heartbeats and heart attacks, diabetes, depression, worsening of ADHD headaches. What are the symptoms? Waking up with a very sore or dry throat, loud snoring, occasionally waking up with a choking or gasping, sensation, sleepiness or lack of energy during the day, sleepiness while driving, morning headaches, restless, restless sleep, forgetfulness, mood changes, recurrent awakening or insomnia. Now, what is the diagnosis? If you have symptoms of sleep apnea, your doctor may ask you to have sleep apnea test called polysomnogram. A polysomnogram or sleep study is a multiple component test that electronically transmits and records specific physical activities while you sleep. During the sleep study, surface electrodes will be placed on the face and scalp and will send recorded electrical signals to the measuring equipment. These signals, which are generated by your brain and muscle activity, are then recorded digitally. Bells will be placed around your chest and abdomen to measure your breathing. A bandage-like oximeter probe will be put on the patient's finger to measure the amount of oxygen in blood. Uh, what are the other tests? First is EEG, electroencephalogram, to measure and record brain wave activity, EMG, electromyogram, to record muscle activity such as face twitches, teeth grinding and leg movements and to determine the presence of REM, next is EOG, electrooculogram, to record eye movements. These movements are important in determining the different sleep stages, particularly REM stage sleep, ECG, to record heart rate and rhythm. Nasal airflow sensor to record airflow. Snore microphone to record snoring activity. Now coming to the treatments. Sleep apnea treatments range from lifestyle changes such as losing weight or changing sleep positions or CPAP therapy to surgery or treating sleep apnea at home. You may be able to treat mild cases of sleep apnea by changing your behavior. For example, losing weight, avoiding alcohol and sleeping pills changing sleep positions to improve breathing, stopping smoking, smoking may increase the swelling in the upper airway, avoiding sleeping on the back. Next is Continuous Positive Airway Pressure CPAP. It is a treatment in which a mask is worn over the nose and or the mouth while you sleep. The mask is hooked up to a machine and delivers a continuous flow of air into the nose. This airflow helps in keeping the airways open so that breathing is regular. Sleep apnea and dental devices. Dental devices can be made that 
help keep the airway open during sleep. Such devices can be specifically designed by dentists with special expertise in treating sleep apnea. Next, surgery for sleep apnea. If the patient has deviated nasal septum, enlarged tonsil, or a small lower jaw with the overbite causing the throat to be narrow, surgery may be needed to correct sleep apnea. The most commonly performed types of surgery for sleep apnea include nasal surgery, correction of nasal problems such as deviated septum, uvula palatopharyngeoplasty (UPPP), a procedure that removes soft tissue in the back of the throat, mandibular maxillomandibular advancement surgery, surgery to correct certain facial problems or throat obstructions that contribute to sleep apnea. If you like this video, kindly. Click on the like button. If you have any doubts, I request you to write your doubts over the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for further videos. Thank you and have a nice day.